Hello, we are still on lesson 15. If you need to re-watch the lesson 15 video from Eureka, please do that if you were struggling a little bit yesterday. We've already completed day one. We did the application problem. We did that yesterday. And so now we're going to move on to page 92 and we are going to start day two. So on day two, you are going to work problem D and E problem D and E on day two. Make sure you use your the chip model. And as we did on problem 14 on the our lesson 14, um, not yesterday but the day before, there were two problems that you were going to try and solve without using the place value chart. And I would really like you to start practicing doing that without the place value chart. Um, you will also need to move on to the exit ticket after you've checked your work with Ms. Star and make sure that you understand what you're doing. And you're going to use the vertical form, show the subtraction on the place value chart with the chips, exchange or decompose a 10 uh, for 10 ones if you need to, or unbundle a 10 when necessary and show all of your work so that Ms. Starr and your teachers can see that you understand what you're doing and make sure you send that one to your teacher. So go ahead and pause the video as you go back and do the problems, the four problems that are on day two. Make sure you show all of your work. On uh, two, remember you're trying to do it without the place value chart. Before you do the exit ticket, you definitely should have a parent look at this with you to make sure that you're on the right track and uh, they're not there for you to be able to copy they're there for your parents to be able to check to make sure you are on the right track so go ahead and pause the video all right here we are back we are going to take a look at problem d and e and then we'll talk about problem two in just a few minutes you should have come up with the difference of 131 doing your decomposing. You did have to decompose because you did not have enough ones to be able to subtract nine. That left you with four tens. And when you added that 10 to your ones, you ended up with 10 ones. 10 ones take away, 10 ones take away, nine ones was one one and then you had four tens that were left and you're going to take one ten away that gives you three tens and one one hundred take away um, zero one hundreds left you with one hundred you should have come up with the difference of hundred twenty nine on problem c with seven tens and sixteen ones after you did your chip model sixteen ones take away seven ones is nine ones and seven tens take away five tens is two tens and one one hundred take away one one hundred or take away zero one hundreds gives me one one hundred. Now I'm just going to do a quick little exchange here. I'm going to go over to problem two. I would like to work these with you if I could because we're just now starting to get into a position of showing 73 take away 56 without the chip model or the place value map. So I've set my problem up vertically now and I am going to take a close look at my hole, looking at that hole. So when I'm looking at my hole I'm saying three ones take away six ones which is six from three. Can I take six ones from three ones? Well I know that I can't because there's not enough. So I am going to decompose or unbundle a 10. I'm going to take it out of the 10s and put 10 ones up in the ones column. 10 ones, which that now represents, plus three ones gives us 13 ones. And that left me now that I've decomposed and moved that right there. I'm gonna draw that little arrow to show that I've decomposed and moved that 10 up into the ones. That leaves me now with six tens. So 13 ones take away six ones leaves me seven ones. This is where you have to know your 36s. 13 take away six is seven. And six tens take away five tens leaves me with one ten. Your difference is 
17. If you got that right without, the, without using the chip model, you are flying down the road. Let's try B. We have 170. I'm going to just put a little equal sign there. 170. Take away 53. I'm going to put a zero in my hundreds place with my equal sign. I'm making sure that my three ones is lined up with my zero ones. My five tens is lined up with my seven tens. My zero hundreds lined up with my one hundreds. I'm going to examine my whole very carefully to see if I'm going to need to decompose a 10. Zero ones take away three ones or three ones from zero ones. I don't have enough, so I'm going to need to decompose a 10. I'm going to take that 10 and put those up in my ones column and add 10 ones to zero ones, which gives me 10. And that leaves me now not with seven, but with six tens. Now, 10 ones take away three ones, I can do. 10 ones take away three ones, or three ones from 10 gives me seven. This is where you need to know those 36s. Six tens take away five tens, or five from six would be one. And one 100 take away zero 100s leaves me with 100, and your difference should be 117. Congratulations to you if you got both of those correct. I would be very proud and I'd love to sing the I'm proud of you song, but here we go. Once you have corrected all of this and you feel confident in what you're doing, then you need to come over and do these two problems. You're going to solve using the vertical form, show subtraction in the place value chart with your chips, and if you need to exchange or decompose or unbundle a 10 for 10 ones, do it if it's necessary. And then, of course, send that to your teacher. Now, as I say every day, have yourself a great day of learning.